Yeah, this is Saturday, the uh, 29th of May, Memorial Day weekend. Picked up new tires and went ahead and picked up uh, three new wheels. Whenever I go on the road, I carry no less than two spare tires. Old adage is, one will get you off the side of the road, two will get you home. On the tires on this trailer, the ones on the ground that I'm going to use for spares were Lone Range D. I uh, picked up three of these Z-Max and three new wheels. They are 14 by 6, that's very specific. 14 by 5.5 will not fit the center hole. And so I got three new rims. So now I've got uh, two good rims with decent tires, but as the factory tires and they're usually junk then the spare that came with this thing was a load range c which is no way the right spare but i still got the wheel that came on it up there on the top that's my first major repair uh, the ac uh, lost the refrigerant these things are running it's supposed to pull about 12 amps depends on outside temperature and it was short cycling real bad. A compressor case was running about 165 degrees. The snap switch was not tripping it off. And I put my amp probe on it and it was only pulling 4.2 amps on a, about a 92 degree day. I built air conditioning coils for a living. I've been in the heat exchange industry for damn near 50 years. And you can't put gauges on it. There's no taps for gauges. So this is looking at what you're seeing. Very low operating amps, high temp on the compressor case, unit short cycling something fierce, not really cooling that good. You got a refrigerant leak. All of these RV air conditioners, all RV air conditioners, I'll say that one more time, all RV air conditioners are made in China junk. There's not a single domestic manufacturer that builds them here in the States. They may, may be a carrier tag on it, a GE, a Dometic, don't matter. Open it up. I can spot a Chinese coil from a mile away. And they're straight up Chinese coils made in China all over the internals. They are absolute garbage. Two year old RV, one year warranty on the AC, and it already broke. Uh, there's a small leak in the coil, probably in the evaporator coil. Could be the condenser. I was looking for an oil stain. I saved the old unit. I'm going to disassemble it and see what I can see. So we spooled out the awning today, checked it out. It's clean. Wasn't nothing to do there. Skeeters are bad. So I got the new tires and wheels on. I left the uh, little chrome center things off. That's a moisture trap. That's why there's all that rust on the hubs. I uh, got it leveled up real good. And uh, took about three and a half hours to change out that AC. It's heavy. I lifted it up with a front end loader so it wasn't terrible. Didn't tear nothing up. That's a good thing. So, no trips for Memorial Day. As you can see, I got some mowing to do. It's starting to get away from me, so we'll be up here mowing. I will. Uh, wife might be going to an event. <laughs> uh, got it locked up 10 ways from Sunday again. Got it all blocked up. Got it nice and level this time. That's my left, right. That's my front back. Not pouring down rain this time, so I didn't get in a huge hurry. Wasn't difficult. Just as gravel I got. It's like driving on marbles. It does kind of walk on you. So, all in all, not a completely terrible day. Uh, bought a new uh, rocker recliner for the house. Uh, stuff's gotten kind of high in case you ain't noticed. I uh, brought my old rocker recliner from the house up here and put it in the barn. I got a good one. It's just, you know, it's okay for the barn. 
but poultry are starting to wear out. I've had it about 10 or 11 years, Lazy Boy brand. And then uh, got an old rocker recliner. Wife can't use it. Every time she leans back, it goes all the way back and dumps her on the floor. So you will go out to the curb at the house, free, pick it up. The reason it flips all the way over, the distance on the feet is not far enough uh, going forward to back or back to for, uh, back to forward, and you'll rock that thing all the way over. So anyway, still a lot to do up here. Supposed to be decent weather tomorrow. I would like to get my spraying done, at least run the six foot by the uh, fence and perimeter, then spray, and then hook up to the big tractor and mower. Maybe start mowing with it in the AC. Anyway, that's all for this one. Thank you.